Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam. I'm coming back to you once again. Uh, I'm going to list the article and the article writers in the description, as I always do. But for now, we'll say we're at the deep link. It says billions of snow crabs have disappeared from the waters around Alaska. Scientists say overfishing is not the cause. Hmm. The Alaskan snow crab harvest has been canceled for the first time ever after billions of crustaceans have disappeared from the cold, treacherous waters of the uh, burning sea. Okay? And uh, if you uh, love up seafood, this listen up. The Alaskan snow crab harvest has been canceled for the first time ever after billions of crustaceans have disappeared from the cold, treacherous waters of the Bering Sea in recent years. Okay, the Alaskan snow crab, uh, it says it again, uh, the Alaskan Board of Fishers and North Pacific Fishery Management Council announced last week that the population of snow crab in the Bering Sea fell below the regulatory threshold to open up the fishery. But the actual number behind the decision are shocking. The actual numbers. Uh, the snow crab population shrunk from about 8 billion in 2018 to about 1 billion in 2021, according to the Benjamin Daly. Uh, a researcher with the Alaskan Department of Fish and Game. Snow crab is by far the most abundant of all burned sea crab species that is caught commercially, uh, Daily told CNN. So the shock and awe of million, uh, many billions missing from the population is worth noting, and that it includes all females and babies. Okay? The Bristol Bay Red King Crab Harvest will also be closed for the second year in a row. The agency has announced official site overfishing as their uh, rationale for canceling the season. Mark uh, Stricker, I apologize if I mispronounced the name. The ground fish and shellfish fishery management coordinator with the state's fish and game department said the more crab were being fished out of the ocean uh, than could be naturally replaced. So there were more removals from the population than there were inputs. Uh, Strickard explained Thursdays in Thursday's meeting. Between the survey conducted in 2021 and 2022, he said, mature male snow crabs declined about 40% and an estimated 45 million pounds left in the entire burning sea. Uh, it is scary, it's a scary number, just to be clear, Strickland said, but calling the burning sea crab population overfished a technical definition that triggers uh, conservation measures should uh says nothing about the cause of the its collapse we call it overfishing because of the size level uh mike litzo the kodak lab uh, director of the noaa fishery told cnn but it wasn't overfishing that caused the collapse that's much is clear Litzo said human caused climate change is a significant factor in the crabs alarming disappearance. Snow crabs are cold water species and found overwhelmingly in areas where water temperatures are below 2 degrees Celsius. Litzo says as, ocean, uh, as the oceans warm and the sea ice disappears, the ocean around Alaska is becoming inhospitable for the species. There have been a number of attribute studies that have looked at species, uh, excuse me, specific temperatures in the Barents Sea and Barents Sea ice cover in 20, 2018. 
and in those attribute studies they concluded that those temperatures are low ice conditions in the burning sea are a consequence of global warming that so said temperatures around the arctic have warmed four times faster than the rest of the planet scientists have reported climate change has triggered a rapid loss in sea ice in the Arctic region, particularly in Alaska, Bur Alaska's burning sea, which in turn has amplified global warming, causing fisheries due to low abundance and continues continuing research are the primary efforts to restore the population at this point. Ethan Nichols, an assistant area manager, biologist, with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game told CNN. Strickhard also said that there might be some optimism for the future, as a few small juvenile crabs are starting to appear in the system, but it could be at least three to four more years before they hit maturity and contribute to the regrowth of the population. It is a glimmer of optimism, Litzo said. That's better than not seeing them for sure. We get a little bit warmer every year and the uh, variability is higher in the Arctic uh, ecosystem and it's high latitude ecosystem. And, and so if we can get a cooler period, that would be good news for snow crabs. Um, that is the end of the article. Um, a lot of people don't believe that global warming is a thing. Um, usually, I'm going to just be honest, um, you have a lot of lobbyists, you have a lot of people that are paid to talk to the masses of people and say, hey, it's not global warming. Um, you have people that want to build pipelines in Alaska, that was the thing that was supposed to happen in uh, other places um, you know people are basically putting profit over the environment um, and my question is if you're putting profit over the environment how are you going to spend your money when there's no planet to be on um, and about maybe about a hundred percent of the population is gone how you're going to spend your money um you know definitely they should take efforts everywhere um not just in the united states but around the world to reduce this um literally they're playing russian roulette for their money just for a profit and i don't think that that's right and i don't think that that's fair um you can call it what you want to um, you could not believe the science, um, and I believe in that case, uh, a lot of times they cherry pick it, um, they only back and, you know, tip their head to science that's in favor of them widening their margins, as opposed to, you know, science that could actually save people's lives. And that's always a scary thing because these are the people that were able to amass millions and billions of dollars and legitimately have more of a say because of their standing and their wealth and the lives that we live. Um, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to go outside and has to wear a gas mask or uh we walk around and the new thing be us uh, you know uh hopefully not uh walking around on uh, mobile respirators trying to you know breathe because we have pillaged the ecosystem so much that i mean i mean it goes way beyond snow crabs uh it definitely goes way beyond wildlife and all of that things and not even to mention what it's doing to them um how many animals have went out of extinct or have been displaced that's why you see so many animals in people's pools and 
you know, at their back doors or, you know, coming into their houses and stuff like that, you push their habitat and their land and their home back so far, you know, um, you know, it's to them, it's still home, you know, um, just, it's, it just doesn't look the way that it, it used to, you know what I mean? So, I mean, and whichever side that you're on, uh, climate change is very real. Anybody that says climate change isn't real is only concerned about profit. They do not care about human life. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I may be wrong. So I'm going to say allegedly. Okay. Um, but I, it just feels that way. There's no way I would put a dollar amount over a person's life. Um, that's just a moral thing, you know? Um, like I said, how are you going to spend your money when everyone's gone? You know, um, you're essentially bringing about rapture, but not in the way, in the biblical sense, but you're literally bringing forth rapture um, to everybody. I mean, if it doesn't continue and we don't put measures into place, to help repair uh, the things that have been damaged or lost or extinct, then we don't have much of a future to look forward to, honestly, you know? Um, I guess we'll be among the, the uh, millions and millions of species that came before us uh, that went extinct, I guess, all for profit. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Come in the comments. Let me know how you feel, whether it's good or bad. If you think that I'm, oh, you're a tree hugger. Yeah, I'd rather have a tree. Okay? So what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, whatever. And with that, you guys, I will get with you in the next video.